King, Julia Hart of the House of Black attacking the neck of the rated R superstar. Adam Copeland and his partner, Willow Nightingale, nowhere to be found after that attack in the back before the match, Tony. And let's not forget that uh, Dynasty and that six-man tag or that trios match that you talked about coming up on uh, Sunday. Let's see what's going to be left of Adam Copeland and who can fight out coming up on Sunday. Yeah, I agree with you, Siobhan, but I think the last thing on Cope's mind is that, obviously, right now. He's trying to get out of this problem here with Brody King. But as we were talking about oh, oh. picture in picture, Willow Nightingale not in the corner of Adam Copeland. He is fighting this match alone. Almost a two-on-one assault by Julia Hart and Brody King. Look at Cope, though. He's on top here. Cope gets his footing up on top and comes up. The flying clothesline. I love it. Just flung his body for all he's worth at Big Brody well, that time. This would be a great opportunity for Cope to tag in Willow, who's injured backstage. Yeah, that corner is empty for Adam Copeland. All right, then it would make Julia legal, being that it's mixed tag team rules, but that's all for none. And Julia Hart, remember, she'll be defending her TBS championship this Sunday at Dynasty against Willow Nightingale with Mercedes Monet waiting in the wings at Double or Nothing coming up this May. Shots being exchanged. Well, I'll tell you from experience being in the ring with Cope several times, he's a heavy hitter, I promise. Copeland went for that impaler. Brody King just too powerful. And Copeland staggered Brody back, but didn't take him off his feet. That just speaks to how powerful Brody King is. Tony uh, Copeland hit him with a four or five consecutive shots, and Brody's still not going down. Yeah, he's still slumped right up against those turnbuckles. You're right, Excalibur, but he's not going down. He's an, he's an incredible athletic specimen. He really is. Copeland again running in that high boot across the jaw, catching Brody King flush on yeah. that jaw. Well, Cope's doing the right thing. He keeps bringing big strikes to level the playing field here against Big Brody. And, you know, I don't know if Copeland knows this or not, but Brody King... Oh, wait, the Impaler! This could oh, be it! Oh, buddy. Copeland lands the Impaler! He covers! The leg is hooked in! Brody King able to kick out. Super close right there. I was going to point out that a few years ago, I believe about five years ago, Brody King actually broke his jaw competing in a, in a pro wrestling match. Had to have his jaw wired shut. And maybe that's why Copeland is attacking the jaw, Brody King. Well... Cope is a student of the game. He follows everything that's going with everybody for a lot of years. He knows that could, you could be right about that for sure. Yeah, gain any potential advantage that you can if you're Adam Copeland. Especially with an opponent this dangerous as Copeland, that flipping neck breaker. Yeah, Copeland can barely pull himself up. He looks out towards the fans here, but, well, not going to try to make a cover here, apparently. Look at his eyes. Eyes oh, locked in. Cope is locked in. Wow, listen to the fans. Copeland feeding off the energy of this great crowd as he has Brody King lined up. Could be a spin. Oh, <laughs> oh wow. And Julia loves it. What an answer for a spear, Excalibur. And uh, Julia Hart, I mean, she loves it. She is delighted by that lariat from Brody King. Take another look at this right here. I think Copeland got wrapped up with the audience here in Indianapolis being behind him so heavily. Yeah, good call. And I think he got, he definitely got caught by the big man there with that line. Brody King charging it. Oh, Copeland avoids it. But again, Copeland with nobody on his corner, no relief. As Julia Hart comes to check on her partner in this mixed tag match. And you know, listen, you gotta realize, Copeland went into this thing in his mind, going into a mixed tag team matchup. It's a different strategy. And Copeland's a tag team expert. Oh, look at this! Now you see Willow Nightingale making her way. She's all taped up as Chris Statlander. She's got a shoulder issue, but she's here, Willow. Chris Statlander and Stokely Hathaway. Cheering on Willow. As Willow up on the corner, Brody, he sees it. I don't think uh, Copeland knows she's there. Oh, she oh, takes it! Maybe he did know. That's a tag. The tag and Willow. Look at that! Oh, oh, oh. And Julia Hart. Well, Julia's technically legal. 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 That's right. She's technically legal right now. But she backed off. That's a scare from Copeland. 
Brody King just got rocked. No, no, Willow. We got double box. <laughs> Two talents to buck. <laughs> oh, it was. Brody King. Oh, this is tremendous. This is absolutely tremendous. Watch out. What a, oh, oh, look at that chain. Willow just got dropped. Oh. Julia Hart had that chain. Brody King's chain wrapped around her head. Willow is Willow's out cold. And now, look at this. Copeland takes Brody on the outside. Heartless is locked in, but Willow, she's out. She's out. And that shoulder's trapped. That shoulder that was injured, the right shoulder of Willow. That chain did the damage. That uh, Willow didn't even see it coming. Julia had that chain wrapped around her fist. And... Hold on, hold on. Uh oh, oh brother! There she is, Mercedes Monet. Oh, she wheeled in a champ. And Julia making a hasty retreat. Well, that was a good idea by Julia to get out of dodge here with Mercedes with steel chair in hand. But Taz, has, has the damage been done for Sunday? to Willow Nightingale. I mean, she's supposed to challenge Julia for that TBS championship, but you see that shoulder taped up. And then to get a, a sucker punch with a chain wrapped around the hand of Julia Hart. Yeah, I don't know the condition that Willow will be in this Sunday, but now there's a history with these two ladies that are in the ring right now, as we know. Yeah, hang right. on. Okay. Mercedes with the chair. Adam Copeland. Well, Mercedes drops the chair, but... A very tense situation. I mean, we're not sure if Mercedes came out here to save Willow or to get redemption on Julia. But it seems like, on some level, Mercedes still may blame Willow Nightingale for that ankle injury, that career-threatening ankle injury. Whether it was intentional or not, we will never know. But this Sunday at Dynasty, live on pay-per-view, Julia Hart looks to defend that TBS championship against a Willow Nightingale that we can assume is not going to be 100%. Plus the trails match, Copeland, Briscoe, and Kingston taking on the House of Black.